What's up everybody? It's Monkey Mike, your host back again. You got the kids and the family with me. I guess it's the same thing, huh? Kids and the wife, that's family. There we go. All right, so I got the family with me. <laughs> I may be a little overexcited right now because the car I'm driving is very awesome and I'm super excited. The fact that it's ours, I mean it's hers, but it's ours, you know, because what's hers is mine. Isn't that how that works, right? What's mine is mine, what's hers is mine. You guys agree, right? Okay. So. With that said, we're taking the first daylight drive. We've already test drove it at night. We did find a few issues. There seemed to be uh, a loss of coolant. So we were having a little bit of a temp spike. I was doing a few runs uh, in Mexico, of course. You know, we don't speed here in the United States, but down there in Mexico, we were doing about a buck 20. And every time that I would let off, we'd see the temp spike up. So we took it back to the dealership and they ended up tightening a hose clamp and refilled it, burped it and everything should be good. We're taking it out to test drive it right now once again to ensure that what they did was done right. Uh, being this is basically, you know, it's not brand new, it's an 06 SRT8 Magnum. But with how the uh, lemon laws work here in the United States, or at least in Arizona, I guess. So how the lemon laws work here in Arizona is, uh, we have, there we go, driving and talking. Uh, we have 14 days basically to find anything that's wrong with the vehicle and we make them repair it. So with that in mind, we're gonna go take it out to Mexico again. I'm just bringing the family to Mexico with me. You guys ready? Ariba, get some tacos? Yeah. <laughs> we're not really getting tacos. I don't know, maybe we will. You think tacos tonight? Ooh, we should do taco salad. I was telling Brad we should do taco salad. I like taco salad. So, we're headed out to Mexico right now. Maybe we'll do a little burn ski, maybe we won't. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we definitely need to test the mile or mile an hour, mile per hour, mile an hour, mile an hour. Do well, well. I gotta do well, well. Fear to puny. Fear to puny. We make up words around here. So, give me a short moment here and we'll be out to our favorite spot out there in old Tijuana. Is it, where, where in Mexico do we go? I think it's Tijuana. 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 I wanna. God, that thing sounds good. So I got a rule about cars. If it's cool, it usually has a removable top. That's just like kind of a thing. Even if it just comes back, like I don't care how it is. Uh, it's always got a removable top of some sort and woo! And all the fancy stuff in the world we still got this old ass friggin cruise control circuit like they couldn't have put a more fancy way got all this stuff she even got a little touch screen you know I'll give you guys more of a rundown after we get out to Mexico and stuff uh, maybe when we get back home I'll tell you more about it but all the fancy things it could have it, and the cruise control is not very intuitive I can see. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out later. I'm not really a cruise control guy. I'm more of a full throttle kind of guy. Yeah. Headed out to Mexico. I don't have any good songs for today. But headed out to Mexico. Gonna do us at least one burnout. because the cube's dead but another car died as well and back to back we we first it, the cube broke and then the other one broke and uh that's one of our favorite cars so we're, we're pretty bummed about that we're gonna have to go diagnose it after this but i'm a big fan as i just told my children do something fun before you do something you know that's gonna piss you off <laughs> you guys like going fast yeah. That's why we like going to Mexico, right? Yeah. Right. Where we can have fun. Skirt. Do you boys like Mexico?
we found out that it's yeah I, I don't know who put the uh, exhaust on here but so far now we have this problem that's how your car burns down but regardless here it is our SRT 8 Magnum you can see she's in there messaging the dude at the dealership right now letting him know what she found looks good look at that Bam, there's the thumbnail. Oh, sexy. A little bit of traffic out here in Mexico. It happens, you know, people gotta get going home. Oh, but dang, she looks good, don't she? All right, well, I promised y'all I would deliver and I will deliver. Hide it right here. There we go. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's just a sneak peek. I'm not trying to roast. Look at that. Look how sticky those got. Woo! I'm not trying to roast them off completely. I mean, we just got brand new tires and I just wanted to give you guys a little taste. Hope y'all enjoyed it. This is our new car and uh, we're gonna get back home before it catches fire because I don't like that bumper. That, uh, that, that doesn't make me too happy. But yeah, because look at that. <laughs> you still got all the smoke from the rubber in the car. All right. <clears throat> Time for us to head back to the good old US of A and uh, we gotta go take a look at the car that broke. See what we can do to fix it. Look at the smoke still coming out. Nope. <laughs> What'd you guys think of that? What'd you guys think of the burnout? Yeah. Yeah? And it was smoke and smoke. It was smoke? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool though, huh? Yeah. Yeah? All right, everybody, so here is the sad part of the video. As you can see, the El Camino, well, you probably can't see it because of the sun, so I'm gonna go over there in a second, but I just wanna talk to you guys outside of the wind. So last Friday, she broke the cube, and uh, you know, whatever happened, happened. She was driving it to work, like she does every other day, every other vehicle she has. And uh, I'm, you know, as I showed you guys, the cube was all screwed up. I was like, all right, whatever, just drive the El Camino for now. Well, it supposedly only has like 90 something thousand miles on it. I swear, I swear that motor's rolled over. So technically in my, in my brain, I'm thinking this thing's close to 200,000. As far as I'm concerned, it's, you know, or as far as I know, I've looked at it and checked it out. It doesn't look like it's ever been pulled apart at all. Um, same basic situation, you know, we're dealing with a fairly high mileage motor and it's over 30 years old. <coughs> So she blew the head gasket, I'm pretty sure, on it last night. So that's back to back. Poor thing, she's killed two cars. We've already had all the talks about the SRT. I feel really bad for her. You know, this stuff doesn't normally happen. So, but at the same time, I mean, vehicles have wear. The cube was, you know, itching up on, I think it's got 180,000. Uh, the El Camino, in, in my brain, has 190,000. Uh, they, you know, the the truck I have, the V10, it's got 200,000, but it has none of those issues at all. Uh, I don't know why her vehicle have that. But at the same time, both those are dad's vehicles, and he's an absolute pain in my ass about letting me do what it is that I need to do to the vehicles because they're his. So there's always this big temper tantrum that happens, and I always make her ask him first because hey, they're not mine. I'm not just gonna you know pop them open and start messing with them. Uh, but none of my vehicles die like this. We have, I've never had this happen before ever in my life. So back to back, we got two cars that are broke and uh, I'm gonna go out and check the El Camino real quick. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna blow white smoke out because she was telling me it's bellowing white smoke. And 
you know, to me, that's there's head gasket or the head cracked or something, you know, something of that nature where water is getting in there. Because that's the only time you see white, white as steam, and that's going to be water getting in the combustion chamber. I'm pretty sure it's just head gasket. I mean, it's a 4.3, it's an old cast iron, uh, heads and block and everything. It's a, it's a pretty strong motor. It doesn't make a lot of power, but it's strong, you know, they last a while. So we're going to go check that out. The wind's pretty bad out there, so don't expect the wind to be great. Uh, as far as, you know, being able to hear me, I'll do my best to talk. We'll, uh, we'll see what's happening from here. Yep, here we go. Here she is. Poor thing. Popped open. Pop the hood. Look at that, that was cool. Droplets down in there. Definitely. That's just belt wear. Before we start it, let's check the oil. 15 million miles. Well, that's good. And it's full, so there's nothing in there. Nothing's mixed. That's awesome. Oh, okay. I do see some droplets, but I'm not seeing any amount of like water per se, which is which is good because um, he told her when he when she dropped it off last night, uh, he said there was water somewhere. So this was my fault. I actually did this. I'll, I'll tell you a story, guys, about that. Where? Well, I just tell you real quick. I hooked up a battery charger and wasn't paying attention, and the cables actually got in the fan right here and it yanked it in there and broke it. So, oops. Um, that's all power steering fluid. Oh, look at that spark plug laying on the uh, steering there. Let's see, see if this was my car, it wouldn't look like this. But that's what happens when you gotta deal with people being a giant pain in the ass. Oh, cool. Cool, it's, it's uh, seized. Fantastic. <laughs> Tried to start it over and you saw it wouldn't even crank. So engine, uh, engine definitely seized. That's gonna need towed somewhere and a uh, whole new engine probably. Man, she looks good sitting here, look at that. Mopar, Mopar, Mopar. <laughs> I love it. I love, yeah, I, I grew up with Dodges, Plymouths, Chryslers all over the place. And now look at my home. Look at my home. This is fantastic. I never thought there'd be an SRTA in my driveway. This is, this is just very cool. So um, to solve the dilemma with the El Camino, I spoke with her dad and I'm very pleased to say actually that we were able to have a civil conversation about it and he agreed to let me V8 swap the El Camino, which is really weird because he fought my wife on it uh, for the last like 15 years. I don't understand. It was very easy when I would talk to him. I let him know, hey, that thing's probably knackered. It's, you know, we're done with it. And I can check to see if it'll work. He said, well, I don't want to invest any money into that engine. I said, well, no, why would you? When we have a full V8, tranny, everything ready to go, he goes, well, you got to put a new rear end. I go, no, we don't. Why would we have to put a new rear end? That's a, that's a 10 bolt. That thing's fine. So apparently we're going to be V8 swapping the El Camino, just like I wanted to. I'm stoked about that. We've got our 370 cubic inch Hemi inside of uh, our SRT here. And yeah, I guess blessing in disguise. We're gonna fix that piece of crap, send it down the road, put it toward the payments on this thing. Uh, it should be able to easy to get about 5K out of that car. It is an extremely rare uh, six speed manual version. You just don't see that very much. We already hit up the dealership about fixing the bumper here about how it's melting like that and uh i wouldn't be surprised if it ends up getting a brand new bumper because of that so yeah 
all in all, you know, I'll, I'll give you guys a status update on that. We'll take this out and uh, definitely have a lot more fun with it, but I gotta make sure that we don't break it because she needs to drive this at least in town back and forth to work. And then, uh, well, we're gonna have to take a drag racing. All right, everybody, thanks again for being here. This is Monkey Mike, peace out. This is all done. I'm gonna give you guys more of a glimpse about what's happening here tomorrow, I'll give you a little bit more detail, show you what happened, but I do wanna let you guys know that tomorrow, because I should be uploading this today, which is on the leap year day, February 29, 2020, woo! And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try really hard to get the giveaway video updated for and ready for tomorrow. And it's gonna be cool, I'm really excited. Um, uh, PFI Speed is on board with it. Uh, Booty Hustlers is on board. Dream Tank Soap is on board. I'm pretty sure we got Lil Clutch Kick might even send us some stickers or something. Um, I think Wide Open Throttle Garage is get on board. I'm pretty sure. I, th I think that my buddy Aaron 802 Garage, I mean, he may or may not. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't expect anyone to, and I'm not, not asking for free stuff. So if anything, we'll try to get some stickers or some sort of merch from, from each of the guys. Uh, I'll let you know tomorrow for sure who is on board and who is not. I just want to thank you all for being here. Peace.